Bienvenidos en este fan que ya hablaron no hace el fan. I want y'all to do me a favor and stop listening to songs that of niggas that pose naked on their motherfucking now. So you know it's free. It's for y'all. You understand? Also, before I go any further, I want y'all to understand that there's only one motherfucking Carter. You need. I understand that Lil Wayne is frustrated about his career, and I feel him on that, but this is my item. I wouldn't ever in my life swap words with him or beef with him about nothing. This is a person that I look up to. Ha ha. It's Woody Jackadomics and finally, Lil Wayne actually gets on the record and makes a damn statement about young thugger motherfucker naming his album The Carter Six. Now, pretty much he said at a show, listen, if you're a Lil Wayne fan, man, you will not be supporting any type of loose booty, shaky behavior from any rapper, especially ones that would be posing on their album cover nude or they would be claiming to be dropping a Carter album because there's only one Carter. But I don't know about you new niggas. I don't know because I only personally know a couple of Carters. I mean, I know a Sir Sean Carter, Jay-Z, a Dwayne Carter, Lil Wayne, and a motherfucking Coach Carter. That's Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know about no Gangsalicious Carter, nor do I know about no goddamn Thugalicious Carter. So I don't get it either. Now, Young Thug then responded, which I will say his response was a great chess move because it baited Lil Wayne even more, which kind of, it was kind of condescending and kind of said, yo, listen, I ain't going to say nothing to you, man. You got other problems. Now, pretty much he says this to Lil Wayne. He says, Lil Wayne, I get it. You're frustrated with your career and your dealings with Birdman Sandusky. That's my new bae, though. That's my new hubby. But I got way too much respect for you, though, to reply and even diss you or slander you. Basically, he's trying to say, Wayne, you cold out here, dog. I ain't beefing with you. Oh, and the Carter 6 is still coming out on 417. Now, ain't that a goddamn bitch? Because I'm going to say it one more time. I keep saying it. I ain't see much backlash at all about this. I hear people talking, but no real backlash. Nobody really making any actions. Because let a random chick like Carrie Hilson talking about she's making an I Am Sasha Fierce 2. And watch how the Beehive react. They be protesting, boycotting, hacking. They be doing goddamn something. But to be honest, let's, let's keep it real. Among the people, at least, that I've been interacting with on Twitter and social media, I've seen talk about the issue. A lot of people think Young Thug's Carter 6 might be hotter than Lil Wayne's Carter 5. A lot of people, they love Wayne. And don't get it wrong, they love Wayne. But they're thinking, damn, this nigga's kind of finished. You know what I mean? And that's what happens when you reach the top of the mountain like he did in 2008. The only place to go is down. So a lot of people, while they love Lil Wayne, they think, yo, he's on the downside of his career. And because of that, some fans are willing to tolerate or ignore what could be perceived as disrespect. Now, we got to be fair, too, because if Young Thug has the audacity to name his album Carter Six without the approval of Lil Wayne, it means he must got some motherfucking flames to drop. He, yo, his album has got to be flames. Let's be honest. You can't name an album with this much criticism and that shit not be A1. It, your product gotta be A1. It's kinda like coming out with a Thriller 2 and then coming out with a garbage product. You gotta come out with A1 material for that shit to even be received well. Now, here's the thing. So, Wayne responds, Thugger responds, and we'll see what the fans do. It's still on the fans. I wanna see what the fans are motherfucking gonna do. Because I see a lot of people, they're split on one side, they're split on the other. What do you guys want? A lot of people want that Carter 6. And listen, people got to stop being really um, ambiguous to at least how social media and how social media affects all this thing. Like, a lot of people really want Young Thug's music. And I'm not even going to say I don't like Young Thug's music because I do. Now, I don't agree with him naming his album Carter 6. I think that's definitely a disrespect, slap in the face. And also, if you called him your idol, right? And some people say, well, he named his album way before the thing with Birdman Sandusky. However, Bur um, Lil Wayne has said, I don't like you doing this, and he keeps doing it. So it's really condescending. It's really kind of play. I think it's a marketing play for a young thug, but I th still think it's fucked up. You don't really turn on the person you think is your idol who you once said you hope to stand beside one day just to get some internet hype, just to get some hype or buzz for a project you're about to drop. Because I don't think it's an album. I think it's a mixtape. I don't think that shit will be a full-on album. I think it'll be a mixtape. So, I don't know, man. We, we'll see what happens. And um, listen, I, got a, I did get a few unreleased tracks from uh, the Carter 6, or it's supposed to be on the Carter 6, and I'm not going to lie, they, they sound good. 
They sound good. They sound dope. I got to be honest. It's no sense in line. It's, they sound good. And, of course, I, I like the catchiness. Young Thug makes hit songs, okay? He makes hit songs for the club. I'm a DJ. I love it, okay? Now, here's the thing. Because um, Young Thug, I don't think he gets this very important part. He's saying he's not trying to disrespect Lil Wayne by responding in a negative manner. But you're already disrespecting him by naming your album Carter Six when clearly Lil Wayne does not want you to name your album Carter Six. So really, you're already disrespected him. So you not responding in maybe in a wild man on Instagram, that's not you not disrespecting him. That's, not, that's you pretty much just not listening. If you really wanted to show your respect, you would be like, yo, okay, I get it. I thought you were down with it because maybe you were down with it a year ago or maybe like you didn't say anything about it a year ago, but you're saying something now. I'm not fucking with the legacy. If you give me the approval, I will do it later on in the future, but I will not go against your wishes and drop a Carter 6. But of course, Young Thug, he's done a lot of different things. I mean, he's the same guy who can't get it. One time he asked on Twitter, he said, why people think I'm gay? Well, motherfucker, you wear a dress, you call other men hubby, bay lover, right? You're painting your nails. I mean, you are sending kissy faces at niggas. Come on. Do the maths. Do the goddamn mathematics. Shwarty Jackademics, man. You guys are the fans. You guys get in the comment box. Sound off and weigh in on this whole fucker because, listen, I'm rocking with Wayne. I like both of their music, but I think naming your album Carter Six is way disrespectful, way left feeling. We're not even talking about, like, sexuality. We know how young thug is. But naming your album after, after um, a series that your idol or your self-proclaimed idol, really, um, he started that series. And then your idol says, well, I'm not with it, and you still do it? Pretty disrespectful to me. But, of course, I, I've always said, niggas are as loyal as their last meal. Trust no one, okay? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. I'm out.